Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to our bracket draw for the Challenge Cup Season 7. I am here with Tobias and the hands of Chimp Pan Reeve. Whoop, whoop. Yes, we are very, very excited for this. Um, Tobias, do you want to quickly explain how the draw is going to work? Absolutely. Okay, so basically you want to guarantee a somewhat balanced bracket. We don't want all the strong players at the very start. So what we did is basically take all the winners of each group and put them into two different pools. One pool is going to be the um, is going to be one half of the winners, and one pool is going to be the other half of the winners. They are sorted such that basically uh, they're they're sorted by qualifier rank. So one pool has um, the topmost qualifier rank, the third qualifier rank, the fifth qualifier rank, and so on. And so on. That's the that's the uh, odd uh, winner pool, uh, and the other pool has the second, fourth, sixth, and so on uh, qualifier rank um among the winners <clears throat> and then we have us as our third pool the runners up so pretty si going to be pretty simple we're going to draw from one of the winner pools then going to be drawing a runner up and next draw will be from the other winner pool at the other end of the bracket and another runner up and we're going to go like this until the bracket is filled <sighs> this is going to be interesting i'm i'm definitely looking forward to this there are certainly some um monstrous opponents you can draw from the runners-up pool including the top seed of challenge cup kirox um and also some amazing success stories among the winners we have uh for example pk primal kiwi also known as pneumatic komodo in the in chat tonight and is uh and was a, a scrubs tournament group minuet runner last season last scrub season the, the scrub season i participated in he was in my group and now he's winning a challenge cup group what the hell look at them now smashing people to bits indeed yeah it's we we've had some absolutely just fantastic uh game some awesome growth in our runners and now it's going to be really put to the test um in our best of three brackets so are we Indeed. ready to get to it have we have we kept the suspense for our poor runners in the audience for long enough oh baby i'm ready I'm ready to have one last say in this challenge cup in this season and draw some absolutely stellar matchups. I apologize to everyone that gets Kirox. It's only going to be one person, but I just want to apologize to everyone in advance if I draw your runner up as the top seed. So that'll be fun. Uh, and I really want to draw the twins as a matchup. If there's one thing I want, it's that. So shall we get started? Let's see if it happens. Let's, Let's do, it. do it. So we are starting cool. with our odds first. Yeah, all odds are in this cup. I'll draw one of these, and then I'll draw a runner-up, and then I'll move on to evens, so on and so forth. Should be nice and simple. All right. First up, the very first winner is Mr. Carp. Exciting, yes. Just made it into brackets yesterday with a win in the Zookeeper tiebreaker. Yep, seed number three, rank number nice. Let's see who we pull them against. I know there's one person in this chat not wanting to pull Mr. Carp, but we'll see. Well, there's one person who also won't be facing Mr. Carp. We know that much. Yep, yeah, cannot go against Le Plopper. They were the same group. And you'll never guess who I drew. 
<laughs> well, I guess put that to the side for a moment. Lezuki put. So what happens here is that they go into the next match. They will go into the evens match. So that's on the right side of the bracket. On the right we side now, of the bracket. We now know that the zookeeper is going to end up as the first competitor in the second half of the bracket. Which means Mr. Carp. they cannot meet each other until the finals if they want that, yep. that rerun. If they want that rematch, they gotta work for it. Yep, okay, so I will draw another runner-up to go up against Mr. Cop, and then I will draw an evens winner to go up against Le Plopper. Okay. So who's actually going up against Mr. Cop? It's Philly what? Philly who? Philly what? Philly why? Philly how? Group seven runner up. Second place to Majakin. I've just nudged my camera, apologies. So right. Evens winner to go up against the keeper of zoos. Oh, I'm having some tech issues with uh with Star GG in the meantime, but do continue. Okay. <clears throat> Looks like it's an all French matchup. Uh -ho -ho. It's Group One winner, Puppy. Hello. All right, Puppy. Moving on two brackets and facing Liplo Pearl in this in this first round. That's that's certainly a match to watch out for. I, I also want to admit that we already in chat have the whole when you want to go starting. So um, <laughs> if anyone is feeling like really excited about this after we draw your group and you agree to it, we've got a restream team that can get you started in the next like hour. So, you know, yep. waiting in the wings. All right. Who's our next odd? Next up, next odd, it's Group 9 winner, Tenacious Toad. Seed right. 11, rank number 80. And let's see, drum roll for our runner-up. Okay, runner-up is, oh, this is a harsh one. It's a very harsh one. It's Quarry. Ooh. Ooh. That's going to be All an right. exciting matchup. Yep, second place to Alkaline Ace in what was an incredible tiebreaker matchup the other day. Okay, back to even side. We have group two winner. It's Dead Evan. Right, De Devin, Devin, the first, the first German among among the uh, people moving on to brackets here. Yeah, excitement. I was actually um, just listening to daredevin commentate a match the the other day and remembering that i i think daredevin was one of the first matches i ever watched of like a zooter randomizer league so a uh, good luck daredevin i just want to say that if this happens to be kirox <clears throat> that is the hardest four people i've ever drawn into a next match <laughs> well we shall Rappy, see plopper daredevin i do not envy whoever this is not Kerox. It's the group nine runner up. It's Brusler. And that's, so we have a French matchup and a German matchup straight away. Hell yeah. And uh, so so the French and the Germans can settle their differences in round <laughs> two of that particular bracket. Or part of the bracket, I guess. Guaranteed France v Germany in that next one. 
that is going to be incredibly hype. Um, so let's round out the the next part of the odds brackets. That is such yeah, a it's, tough. I was gonna quarter. say, holy shit! <laughs> if, yeah, if, yeah. See, see someone... how bad our next four are. <laughs> okay. It is. I think the time for easy match is over, though. Yeah. It is the group seven winner. It's Majakin. As I just said. Woo! All right, Majarkin. Moving on. Yeah, talk, talk, talk about runners face. that, that, that I, I wouldn't want to go up against. I am already very scared for when Triforce Blitz starts. It can't be drawn against their runner-up because they are against Mr. Cup. So, oh no, no, the <laughs> one thing I wanted is dead. They are oh no, Alpha Mario, one of the Harold brothers. Lee Harold facing Majarkin in the first round. That is not an easy matchup for either of them. I think. Indeed, and my dream of a twin matchup is dead. No for twin now. matchup today, but no. you, you never know. I could, it could still happen in the next round if the next odd wants to be Alexander, but we will see. But moving back to the even side, we have Chuckles. Oh boy. All right, so Chuckles, the third, uh, or starts up the fir the third matchup in the even side is uh, definitely a runner to watch out for. Someone who is cough cough, um, someone who is uh, definitely a bit underseeded in Challenge Cup could definitely have ended up in the main tournament. So whoever faces Chuckles in this round, I do not envy them. Yeah, um, Chuckles was only 68th. Yeah. yeah. Former top 64 runner and reigning cornhole champion. I'm not even going to ask what that is. And they are going to go straight up against Nastriel. Nastriel, who uh, has come from basically nothing, from from at least from my perspective just i had not had them on had had not had him on on my radar before but definitely a runner to watch out for has been uh smashing it in his group honestly and also in the meantime uh joined a restream crew and has been an amazing uh help to bringing all these streams to you so yeah, to I, I was actually going to say how excited I was for, for Chuckles as someone who commentates for us a lot, but now now we've got a commentator restreamer matchup, um, and I am very excited for that. Okay, next up. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a Komodo. Or is it a Kiwi? I can't tell. It's Primal Kiwi. Primal Kiwi. I already said what I had to say about PK. Definitely need to watch out for this person. Um, Primal Kiwi is has has been an incres has made a um, comet like rise, or has has produced a comet like meteoric rise. Me me meteoric the, rise. That's yeah. what I was going for. Thank you. Out of out of scrubs. Uh, group minuet into challenge cup a group winner now and who knows next season just gonna be i, I mean my money's on P primal kiwi for season eight champion who knows wow yeah we we love seeing all of the scrubs that are here in our tournament this year um it's very exciting to see all the up-and-coming talent who's kiwi gonna be up against well it can't be kirox but oh my uh, monitor's turned off uh yeah, I don't it can't be as Kirox, they are still left, but it's not them, it is Cranks. Alright, Cranks, a uh, bit of a bit of a wild card here. Certainly uh looking at our rankings, I think um I I don't have it on my on my radar, but I think not near the top of the list. Uh there we go. 
ranks at ranked at 112 in qualifiers. So solidly uh, middle of the pack and um, has made it two brackets now. Technically, for, I think that's the that is the pool that's like the pool three, isn't it? So I think they are uh, have overqualified in in that sense. So fair play to them. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if I drew this from the right cup, so let me just peek at this. Uh, no, I didn't. Did I? No. Is I didn't. it a winner back. even? Yeah, I put, I picked from the odds. So go back to the right cup this time. No mistakes here, folks. Rigged. Yeah, rigged. <laughs> it's <All right>. rigged. <laughs> trying to trying to sneak one by us. Okay. From the even side, <clears throat> ranked exactly one place above me, but did a hell of a lot better. It's Hollow Logic. Oh boy. Oh, I. I a do person not who indeed. I can only. Person who I can only qualify as criminally criminally underseeded um hollow logic is uh has been a a staple of the community has been around forever and has uh, is is uh one of the few runners in australia i think can i just say look at that quarter yeah i am look scared at that of quarter. whoever is going to round this out um this could be a really nasty quarter right here also hollow right. is us and not australian hollow is us no sorry that's hyper i can i confuse them sometimes i don't know why apologies anyway it's the h's who's facing hollow in brackets. Finishing off the quarter. I still don't know how to say it. Is it ICUP? Is it ICUP? Who knows? But they are against Hollow Logic. They see up speedruns. Uh, and I'm uh, moving that in the brackets. Did I get that right? Come on. Software, work with me. There we go. So that is the brackets half set. I, uh, I don't think there is a boring matchup in this list so far. Good grief. I don't think we will see any boring matchups just looking at who's left on like like we we truly have a stacked challenge cup this year. I also want to say now that we're halfway through potentially jinxing myself, I don't think I've made a single spelling error yet. Hell yeah. Who needs Hell Knight when you've got zero mistake Sadie? <laughs> Those typing lessons are coming in handy. Um, that means chat you have full permission to laugh at me so much when i do inevitably screw up so uh who's who's next okay it is group 15 winner and seed number one lefty, lefty. Well, seat number one among those who made it into the winners, because as I said earlier, Kirox is the one who, who came in here as the number one seat of Challenge Cup. Um, and now? And now's in no, he's... runner up, going to, yeah, going not, to have now to... a runner up. Go, gonna win back, um, see, see how far he can go. Okay, going up against. Group 14 runner-up is Bailog. All right. I am... Th th that's a matchup I'm, I'm very excited to see. Again, both of these are... <clears throat> both of these are, are runners that you need to reckon with. Lefty has... Uh, is is the rank 67 in the qualifiers Bernock, um ended up in i think not that far is actually rank 66 in the qualifiers so um that's a spicy matchup all right okay and on to the even side group five winner winner of the closest triple tiebreaker i've ever seen RSL stalwart, it's Alkaline Ace. Alkaline Ace, you just called that you're gonna face Kirok, so we will see, Alka, if you got that right. Alright, uh... 
at least if I pull Kirox now, technically it's their fault because they said it. That's so, true. Yeah. Also, no, I wouldn't need to no do, blame I, on me. I wouldn't need to do anything in in Star GG if that happens. That's already said. Oh hell it's, yeah! It's what starts GG is suggesting. It's destined. To me, so that's the, it's written it's in the sky. Be... Come on, cups. Oh, never mind. It's. I, I forget, it's Seti, Chedi, Seti Chedi, or I Chedi. genuinely don't know how to say this name, I apologize. My but it's not Kirox. The main thing is, it's not Kirox. You get to live another day, Elka. Yeah, I don't please, think that please we've Please DM me how to say your name so I never get it wrong again. C. Eddie. Cool. Yeah, I don't think we've had C. Eddie on a uh, restream, so I I really hope that I can restream that match whenever it winds up being. Um, so or at that least we can, one of them. Yeah, so we can see um, a little bit of their gameplay. Okay, only three names left in here on the odd side. Still got Hensai. We still got Alexander, and we still got Aurelius. Who is going up into Lefty's small chunk of the bracket? It's the Group 14 winner, Aurelius. All right. Aurelius is um, also rather highly seeded. Um, ended up in Pool 2 during the group straw, but just barely. Uh, is, uh, came in at qualifier rank 84. Yep, they did well. They overcame, overcame the full one player in that. I can't remember who that was. Might have been Baelnog, actually. Quite possibly. Okay, well, they can't go against Baelnog, so they've already been drawn out. So, straight into it. It's the matchup nobody wants. It's Kirox. Oh, boy. Oh, Kirox up in against Aurelius. But... Here's your first typo. Wait, what did I typo? Uh, okay. Oh, it's okay, not me. That's, yeah, it's not that's, me. That's not a typo. That's me forgetting to remove That counts. That mark. counts. <laughs> At I least I didn't counts. misspell the runner's name. I'm st I, I think I'm still doing better. And we have a very spicy... Group of four there. Holy moly. Yep. Lefty Belnock. Again, Lefty Belnock seats number 67 and 66. Kirox <laughs> seat number 65. So the top three of Challenge Cup, despite all our efforts at, at balanced brackets, so the top three seats have ended up in these two matches. Unreal. What a <laughs> horrendous, horrendous draw. You're welcome. Okay, Good next job, up. Jim. It's too even side. They've stuck with it. It's stuck, man. Group 8 winner. Rank 88. Not seed 8, though. That would have been too nice. It cannot be drawn against their runner-up. And stuck in, in chat. Very afraid right now of what name's going to come out of that cup. Yeah, that's probably going to work out. We've got Gabriel, Jake Campos, we have Mackey, we have Levi, we have Toba, and we have Cocotier. So, no one that is good <laughs> in, terms of, in terms of a, a, a good and easy matchup, that's what I'm saying. Not, not, I don't not think that time... Good. Wow. Just, just brought that Look. home, Jim. <laughs> Look. It, you corrected me. It, it's fun when our runners up are as scary as our winners. Okay. It is the group 10 runner up. It's Toba. And another one of those predestined matches. That's already what the bracket said before I had to shift names around. So. Fabulous. Okay, just two names to go. Yeah. So Tensei or is it Alexander? I bet it's gonna be Alexander drawn next. Alright. If you lose, that's five pounds. Oh, wouldn't you know it? You lost. It's Tensei. Alright. 
right. And At least Alexander Harold, the last runner up. We're just gonna draw that name anyway to confirm. Um Tensei. Where are you hiding in a bracket, good man? There you are. Group eleven, so cannot be drawn against their runner up here. I'm not sure if anyone can at this point. I think it's all going to be... Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anyone else that can be drawn against their runner-up. So that is good. Yeah, we do have the brothers on the same side of the bracket, but the only place that they will meet is in it's the semifinals. semifinals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, going up against Tensei is group one runner-up, Gabriel J. Campos. The Brazil... Brazilian representative has entered the floor. I think the only one of the Brazil crew to have made it to brackets, unfortunately. But Is that representing. Right? Representing indeed. A whole country on their shoulders. No pressure. No, nothing. N no, no pressure at all. So that leaves that like leaves Krez and Jack. Astronomy and Krez as the last two winners to be drawn. It's group three. It's Krez. Alrighty. And Jack Stronomy, then the last runner in, or the last winner to be drawn here, obviously. I'm just gonna make sure that that is, that, that note paper is also in there. Yep. Just to confirm, there can't be any runner-up matchups at this point. I think we are in the clear, so I will draw a runner-up for Krez, and then I will draw Alexander, presumably, unless I've fucked up, and then their runner-up, and then Jax, and then their runner-up. Alright, let's see. Let's see okay. it. Who's facing Krez? Going up against Krez is... It's Levi. Oh, boy. That is another one of those runner-ups that you definitely do not want to face. I, I said it before, the time for easy matchups is over, but Levi Belvedere, definitely um, among the most consistent OTR runners uh, out there. Uh, also definitely uh, qualified in the top half of our uh, Challenge Cup roster here. Qualified in rank 89, and even that, I think, is criminally underseeded. Just want to say that before this, they were like, look, just don't draw me against Carp. Dare Devon or Jack Astronomy. And I've done none of those things, but they could be against Jack Astronomy in the next round. Yeah. Um, sure. It's kind of scary. Well, before that, Jax needs to win their match against what is if if the if the uh, brackets are. Uh, correct, or if the, if the notes are all correct, either Mackie or Coco Tier. Which one is it? Okay, or Alex? Well, just pulling out Alex's name just to confirm I didn't completely botch this. It is hey. Alexander HD. Excellent. Group 13, so rank 75. Seed number <clears throat> 7, so middle of the pack. Who's going to be... It's Rocketeer. group two. It's Mackie. There we go. All right. And that and... leaves only one person to be going up against Jax. Yeah, just confirming that it is Jax that's left in this pot, which it is. Jaxtronomy. Amazing. Seed number six, rank 74. Doctor of Physics, endlessly fascinated by random answers, and has a tattoo of the... Uh, of the uh, gravity wave discovery. Incredible. Also, Jax, yep. I ran out of space. Your name's too long. Long enough without the additional axes. It's Cocotier, as expected. And that wraps up the draw. Yeah, that so... Is it. These are your brackets, everyone, and woo boy, um, 
We had some fantastic matches on both sides. Um, who wants to race? Who wants to race? Yeah, look, we have a restream crew uh, sitting in the wings, waiting and ready for you to put you on stream. So if you if you feel like uh, getting your race on the way within the next hour or so, do let one of us know. I'm going to push some buttons now, and Mido is going to make a bunch of threats for you to start scheduling your races. A few people not saying they're down. Lefty's down. It looks like Majarkin and um, Alpha Mario X are down. Oh, oh dear. Oh, baby. That would be a All spicy right. first bracket. All yeah, right, let's get to it. One. All I'm right. gonna push. I'm gonna push some buttons, uh, and we will get that underway within a few minutes. In the meantime, I think we shall. What do we do? Do we go back to intro music, or do we uh, raid them over and uh, raid them over to a friend, and then later? I, uh, I say start raid, the stream. I say raid them over because I am going to have to switch around my my scene collection here. Uh, um. All right. But yeah, so we will see you all hopefully here in a little bit with an exciting matchup. Yep, there's, uh, some, there's some spicy ones coming up, so make sure you are following the Discord updates of when they're all going to be live. Hopefully we can get maximum restreamage of some cracking races. Yes, indeed. Also, thank you to the French Restream team for doing their side of things. Thank you to Sadie and Tobias for listening to me having a cold. So... And, there we go. And thank you to y'all for asking me to run this restream. And I only had w one typo the entire time, but I did not misspell a runner's name. So I think I did pretty good. Technically, we, we made one mistake each, Sadie, so we're even. 